Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon. Today is October, and spring is here. That means the rotto season. Water's warming up, and of course, my my, we're going to have fun this summer. Guys, as you know, Dorado love pink. Um, so starting off, I'm just gonna go through our chaos plugs. Okay, so there we go, chaos plugs. Weight depends on the rod that you're using. So we've got obviously our long distance casting one, our needle nose, and then we've got our chisel nose. Okay, so pretty much how these two work for Dorado is very simple. The needle nose, if it is flat, calm, and generally summertime, when you're coming up to your fad or you see a big plank floating around or some debris, weed, doesn't make a difference. And you don't want to spook the fish, a long distance casting lure like this is absolutely phenomenal. You can stay far back, throw it over the weed, debris, whatever it might be, and wind it very quickly and you'll see very quickly whether there's any dorado, but you'll see them coming behind it. Long distance casting, flat conditions, that's the lure you want to throw. Okay. Coming back from a night's fishing, and you see a bit of debris floating around, um, that is the one you want to throw. It basically chugs along the surface, so if there's a lot of rolling white water, this is a lot easier for the dorado to find. It just pops all the way along as it's going. Tuff, 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 tuff and the Dorado will find that if you think they're around. There we go. Okay, our next ones are our rattlers. So we've got two variations in our rattlers. That is a popping plug. So it'll basically spit as you're pulling it. It'll go tsh, tsh. throw a lot of white water when you're pulling it. This one here will basically swim like a fish on the surface. It does this. So it's a very fast action, quick retrieve, if you're passing something and you don't know whether there's any uh, Dorado around, you can throw that at it and get two or three throws in before you've actually passed it. This one, however, is a lot slower. You can pop, pop, stop, pop, stop. You can do a lot of different variations in it. Okay. Obviously, trawling from one spot to another spot, we've got our rattlers. Pinks definitely do make the difference, guys. Um, they've got treble hooks in them. You trawl past your debris that might be in the water, and if there's a Dorado, he's gonna jump on it. Then we've got our poppers. Once you've found the Dorado, you can take these, you throw it, and you can pop. And you can have a lot of fun, especially with youngsters. They are absolutely deadly for catching Dorado. Next one. <clears throat> Bucktails. You can fish them quite deep, you can fish them fast, you can throw them at Dorado. Very versatile lure to have, and they definitely work for catching Dorado. Okay. And you can see them on the scanner, you can see them on your fish finder. They are down deep, they're not gonna come up for your poppers and that. Your vertical jig, butterfly jigs, they work. Um, guys, a lot of times you can get them to come to the surface, then you can start throwing your poppers at them. But that is absolutely brilliant when they are down deep. Always use this to bring the fish up, and then you can throw your poppers, once you've hooked one, you can throw your poppers around and the other Dorado that follow the hooked fish will come in and investigate your poppers. Okay, so vertical jig, very important to have on the boat when targeting Dorado. Uh, guys, these are lovely lures for youngsters to learn how to fish with and catch the rotter. Remember one thing, however, any lure that has two treble hooks, and if you do hook a dorada in the mouth, make sure that you stay clear of it, especially if you've got youngsters on the boat. The second treble hook generally will find something to hook on. Dorado on the boat are most probably the most dangerous fish species to have. A Dorado lying there with a treble hook, flapping around, isn't something you want to mess with. 
So make sure you handle the rider with care when you've got trebles involved in it. Guys, it's as simple as that. Go out there, catch the rider, have fun. They are delicious. There we go, guys. Enjoy.